noticed she was climbing Mount Everest. Come on. It's a pink one. Everybody loves the pink ones. Everybody loves the pink ones. Come on, Flanders. Come on, Flanders. Come on, Flanders. Well, this is a pretty significant sacrifice. Significant sacrifice. Significant sacrifice. I'm willing to make an interest, peace, love, and understanding. You know, you don't have to take the bus to prove anything to me. I'm not trying to prove anything. Babe, I got it. Sweet, pink, delicious, Starburst. It's you. I, I use lemon for your hair because your hair's fragrant like fresh lemons. And, and, and cherry for your lips because your lips are juicy like cherries. And, and your nose. How do they make Starbucks taste so juicy? The Juicy Dragon? They show funny videos to a giggly dragon. He laughs so hard that he cries super juicy tears and they put him in the Starbucks. And so you see, there's much more to a commercial than meets the eye. My theory is that every single commercial, media, movie, television, is meant to mock the Most High. It's also meant to deceive you, to trick you, and to socially engineer you. Instead of Adam, we have ads. Isn't that interesting? Now, 
the first clip that you saw is from a new Netflix series called Chambers, as in Chambers of the Heart. And the girl you saw here receives a heart transplant from another girl who grew up in a cult, and she begins experiencing flashbacks and supernatural phenomena. They allude to human sacrifice and torture in the first several episodes. And then this scene seals the deal because adrenochrome is a peak substance in the body that the elite feed off of. We've done many videos on adrenochrome. It involves torturing a victim to the point of adrenochrome release. Adrenochrome is just a byproduct of epinephrine. Adrenochrome is released when the victim falls under stress and fear. Now we see the word sacrifice mentioned in the same sentence as the pink. Look at how he is holding the Starburst package in a sexually explicit manner. And there's also a sexual component to the torture of these victims. In through the exit door, we have to say now. And so interestingly, the pink only Starburst packaging encodes the phallic imagery. With the individually wrapped candies encoding what comes out of the phallus. It's disgusting, soft disclosure, meant to mock those who are asleep and justify the plans of the elite because of our stupidity. The pink has been the centerpiece of the elite motif this year as they celebrate the passing of PBA in New York. If you don't know what that means, look it up. And there is another sick and twisted component to all of this. To the elite, children are fruit. They are the next generation that is consumed from a plant with the seeds of the next generation. And that's where they get this fruit reference. Now you know the twisted truth behind Pink Starburst. Take care and be safe, you guys.